I want to start this video by saying I'm very disappointed in NVIDIA for what they've done. Like, come on guys, you all know what's best, but I think you just decide not to do it for some reason. Wow, NVIDIA. You know, in a way I'm actually impressed. Your sheer lack of concern for any of your mainstream customers, it's kind of an achievement. If you watched my previous video, we were all complaining about the fact that NVIDIA sponsored the game Indiana Jones and The Great Circle, but some of the top cards by NVIDIA couldn't even run the game with the best settings. Normally, I would think that NVIDIA would quickly learn a lesson and make amends, but according to some new leaks, that is not what they've done. Talking about the new leaks, it's about the latest RTX 50 series. They just leaked, and word on the street is that NVIDIA might stick with its controversial approach to VRAM on some of its most popular GPUs. That means that they might continue to give us less VRAM, even if we demand for more. Specifically, the RTX 5060 is rumored to come with just 8GB of VRAM and a 128-bit memory bus. Yeah, I know 8GB of VRAM in 2024 doesn't sound too exciting, especially when modern games are pushing for higher memory demands, but does that mean the RTX 5060 is doomed from the start? Not necessarily. Let's break it all down. According to WCCF Tech, which claims to have inside sources, the RTX 5060 and other GPUs in this lineup will make some key changes, particularly with memory. Both the RTX 5060 and its bigger brother, the RTX 5060 Ti, are expected to use GDDR7 memory. This new memory tech should significantly boost bandwidth, even if the memory configuration itself is a bit lacking. For example, the RTX 5060 is set to have 8GB of VRAM, while the RTX 5060 Ti will double that to 16GB. Despite both having a 128-bit bus, GDDR7 will give them up to 448GB per second of bandwidth, a 55% improvement over the RTX 4060 Ti. This might sound familiar because NVIDIA pulled a similar move with the RTX 4060 series. It offered the base model and one of the TI variants with 8GB, while a higher-end 4060 Ti came with 16GB. So what's the problem? The 4060 Ti limited bus width held back performance, and it seems NVIDIA might repeat this pattern with the 5060 Ti. While GDDR7 should help, whether it'll be enough to handle modern AAA games at high settings remains to be seen. Now, let's talk competition. Intel and AMD have been stepping up, and GPUs like Intel's Arc B580 already offer 12GB of VRAM at similar price points. This makes Nvidia's decision to stick with 8GB on the RTX 5060 look less appealing for mainstream gamers. That being said, things start looking a lot better when you move up the RTX 50 lineup. Take the RTX 5070 Ti for example, it's rumoured to use the same GB203 GPU as the higher-end RTX 5080. That's a big deal, because the RTX 4070 Ti didn't share a GPU with the RTX 4080 until Nvidia released the Super version. The 5070 Ti is also expected to bring 16 GB of GDDR7 memory with a 256-bit bus and a total board power of up to 350 watts. That's a major upgrade over the 4070 Ti, which only had 12 GB of VRAM. With memory speeds of 28 Gbps, we're talking about a bandwidth of 896 gigabytes per second, almost double what the RTX 4070 Ti could handle. Meanwhile, the standard RTX 5070 is expected to offer 12 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory with a 192-bit bus. This puts it in a solid spot for gamers who want great performance without shelling out for the high-end 5080 or 5090 cards. How did you get in here? Security. Security let us in. Who are you with? Please, we are trying to save Shit, lives. I need help over here. Soldier, help, please. Go. Of course, these are all leaks and rumors, so take them with a pinch of salt. Not everyone agrees on the details either. For instance, frequent leaker copy to 7 Kimi has different expectations about the power consumption of these GPUs. But the wait won't be long. Nvidia is set to officially announce its next-gen GPUs on January 6th. So, what do you think? Is NVIDIA's approach to VRAM holding back its mainstream GPUs, or is GDDR7 memory enough to make up for it?